Hello, Monsters of Pantry, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires, The Warden and the Paunch, and part 34 of my Grom campaign, where things are starting to, to happen, um, which is good. We, 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 I think the Empire's being beaten back. I think we're doing okay there. We are forcing them back. It's it's not like a case of, like, in the words of our campaign where we're basically being overrun. We're doing absolutely fine there. So that's good. And we're also dealing with Malice. So we just need to finish off Malice. He's only got a few settlements left, and that should that, that looks to be fairly straightforward. Fairly easy to do that. To, I should have done some renaming, shouldn't I? And I didn't. Uh, every single... blood. Well, almost every single time, apart from the times when I do remember... Well done, me. Uh, let's get the boss tent here to help with uh, the public order, because the public order isn't great, mostly thanks to the corruption, which is kind of going up at the moment. Um, hopefully we can head that off. Once we get some more buildings, it should be fine. Um, I've also I've also gone throughout our, our empire, such as it is, and knocked down some buildings, rebuilt other ones, all this kind of good stuff. So we're now um, looking at sort of rejigging some of the buildings we've got. I've, I've kind of just been building higgledy piggledy, and uh, we sh we've gone around to fix all that. So in the, last, the next couple of turns, we should see a whole bunch of stuff being knocked down and uh, more buildings being constructed. I've actually got about 20% extra bonus income after um, a battle just from the raid. Is it raiding stashes I've got? These things, raiden stashes, yeah. So there's loot piles and or the hordes, and we got the raiden stashes. So I've got actually about of ten of these, I think, um, or less. Is it twenty percent? Maybe. Pass. Not sure. It's it's a good bonus anyway. We've got a fair few of them. So that's looking pretty good. Um, we do what? What do I want? What do I want here? I don't really need defenses. Probably a shaman hut to try and offset some of this this chaos corruption. Yeah, let's do something like that. Okay, good. Right, um, that has sort of broken into our money. We're actually about down to 70k. Fortunately, we're now making almost 3k a turn. So, you know, swings and roundabouts, really. Uh, let's get specialist for you. That's all good. Here we're not moved. You are going to... Should... Can we smash down the ball? Good. Good job. Good goblin. I was going to say good man, but you're not a man. You're a goblin. Damage the balls? Sure. We've got command available down here. We're going to go extortion rate. Yeah, let's go extortion rate. Cause we're, we're, I think the growth here is looking pretty good. So um, that should be fine. And uh, we, we've got the uh, the golden tower here. So that's going to increase our income. So that's quite nice. It's all that kind of good stuff. It's all, it's all looking up. It's all looking positive. And Grimgore is beating the snot out of all of our enemies for us. Basically, we've got a bigger boy who, who kind of likes us. And we're using the bigger boy to beat up all the people we don't like. Talking of people I don't like. All right, Malice. Uh, I'm sh well aware of the pointless nature of this, but it's time for peace. Oh, is it? Is it Malice? Is it time for peace now? Have you had enough? Have, who, who declared? Actually, I declared war, didn't I? Um, well, you're not getting a peace treaty anyway. You would have declared. You would have stabbed me in the back given time. I know what you're like, Malice. Christ, you're a dark elf. It's pretty much. It's pretty much in your nature. Holy crap, Volkmar. Where did you come from? Where the hell did that come from? Holy shit. Um, I mean, all right. I, I, I mean, I, I don't know where you came from. Um, but it's not really going to help you very much. Because, I mean, I don't know why you want to pick a fight with Ashag, to be honest. It seems completely senseless at this point. So apparently Volkmar's back. It's getting some lovely hits in nice and early. Rockets opening fire. Here comes a wind of death and a foot of Gork and Fanatics. So this is going to be... Oh, nasty. Yeah, that... That... Yeah. Uh, mm. That was very much the hat trick, wasn't it? Wind of Death, Fanatics, and then being stamped on. That's That's got to hurt. That's got to sting. Azhag getting straight into the fight, and our biggins carving their way through the greatswords, as is tradition. And of course, these exploding shots, which I hate, I need to get rid of, because, God, they're so irritating. <laughs> I, just, I just find them quite obnoxious, actually, which kind of suits goblins, but it's just kind of annoying to, to watch. So, Vokmal's surrounded... He's not having a good time. He's trying to get away from Azhag and failing. 
And as, yeah, I mean, his entire army is basically dead at this point. Um, dead or running away. Some of our goblins got a nasty charge by those knights we saw at the start. But it, I mean, I'm going to be honest, it was fine. It's not, they didn't actually kill that many. So no biggie there. So Steam Tank is just trying to ram Azhag in the bottom. Uh, but that's not working out for him. And uh, it looks like Volkmar, despite his regen, is getting his, just, just getting, just getting his ass kicked. And of course he's debuffed as well. As Rick has, uh, where is Rick? Rick, Rick. Oh, there he is. He's he's fighting with the, the steam tank apparently. Well, that's fine. No matter there. Come on, Azhag, just just kill him. Just kill him. We we all hate Volkmar. There goes the war. That's going to buff our melee attack and strength and weapon strength and all that kind of good stuff. Let's just there he goes. Bop. Oof. It's unfortunate. Down he goes, and then just the steam tanks to deal with, as as is tradition. Bloody steam tanks. God, I hate them so much. I hate steam tanks so much. Just die, you bastards. Just explode. Hurry up. Thank you. And... Thank you. I mean, at some point, they're going to run out of volunteers to keep doing this. You know, Volkmar's going to stand up in front of a crowd and go, Men of the Empire, who will help me fend off the green skin menace? And they're going to be like, well, actually, I've got a thing. I've got, I've, I've got, actually got to go and I'll, I'll be back. Don't worry. And... and They'll never come back. Um, because, frankly, I've killed so many Empire armies, I've lost count. Well, Azhag has, to be fair. Azhag has killed a crap ton of Empire troops and, and armies. He has... I mean, he's killed Boris at least four times. Boris must be getting a complex at this point. Uh, is that really a good idea? Spoilers, it was not a good idea. It was, it was a terrible idea. That was catastrophic, really. I, why do they keep declaring war on me when I'm allied with Grimgor? It just seems like a terrible choice. Some terrible life choices taking place. Okay, so... We, we've sent, uh, Volkmar packing. Oh, Boris is back. Just in time. Uh, should we? Okay, you go and kill... Assault them. Good job. So they're not feeling very happy. Damage the walls. Good. Right, we're going to go in. And we're going to kill Boris. And then I'm going to occupy. Work bad. And that's mine now. Thank you very much. Let's get some some of that. Yes, boss. <laughs> and I'm going to send you off in this direction. Just go and have a look around. Go and see what's up. It looks like Throg. Throg is going for Languil, which is mine. Thank you very much, Throg. Go, go back onto your rock, Throg. Right, we'll have that. We'll have it back anyway. Uh, let's, let's upgrade that ASAP. Fantastic. Okay, so Bretonia has been wiped out from Bretonia. There's, there's no more Bretonians in Bretonia. They're all in the Southlands over here. And hopefully Grimgore is going to go and kick the shit out of them. As you can see, we've demolished a crap ton of boss poles. Because <laughs> I had a lot in uh, settlements that... Uh, or in provinces that were already max, uh, was already max rank. So we're going to then get some of these uh, piles of shiny stuff. Because each one of those at max rank is going to give us 400. So basically, I think we can we can make quite a chunk of change here. I think we can make big big monies. I think we can. I don't know where the others I knocked down were. Uh, over here. Yes. Okay. So we can get more money. More money. We can upgrade that one. Uh, we can upgrade these. Let's get. 
Uh, let's get... Okay, let's upgrade you. I don't know what I want to do there. I'll make a decision. Never. Probably. I'll mull it over. It's fine. Let's get the raiding stashes, and here we can get the Black Orc Forge. So let's do that. Excellent. Okay. And AC Horrier is now level 40, so we'll give you Hinder Replenishment because I don't really know reasons, I guess. And you can be a specialist. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. All good there. Now, we got spotted in our ambush. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how, to be honest, because I don't think we're in range. But okay, we'll go over here and try an ambush and see if they blunder into it, because that would be quite useful if they did. And you can have a uh, Brain Burster, sure. Okay, Skarsnik's dealt with that. Skarsnik can now come down, and together, I'm hoping we might be able to deal with the Wood Elves. And the only problem is the Wood Elves are very concentrated in one area, which means they will all rush to the, each other's... Um, each other's army's defense which is a bit of a problem for us because they've got a lot of armies and we've only got two so uh, i'm not entirely sure how well that's going to go but i guess we'll give it a shot and see what happens uh you know what i really don't know what else to build there i'm not sure uh you're going to come over here but basically we're just going to keep keep an eye on the empire find out where their next armies are coming from and bop them before they I'm hoping we can maybe lock them up in the north over here. Like, clean out the south, move north. Might have to deal with the the Wood Elves. Also, like, Karak Norn's still alive, which is amazing. I guess they don't have the dwarves to confederate with. The dwarves got wiped out. And uh, they, they, they can't confederate with them anymore, which works for me. Okay, we're going to come down towards the Cursed Jungle. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, bloody hell, it's Elon Musk. With with boobs. Okay, we're going to skedaddle over here. We just need to finish off Malice. Uh, so together, Sly and Grom can easily deal with that. No problemo. Let's upgrade these little bits and pieces here. This is, is fine. What's going on over here? Hello. Hello, Mash. What's going up, buddy? What's going up? What's going on? What's 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 what? What are you? Why are you raving outside my city? Are you raiding? You're just underway. You better not stop fucking. Ra if you start raiding, I'm gonna be so angry. Oof. I'm. Ooh. I mean, I I paid you to to declare war on malice, and you're going the opposite fucking direction. You. Oh. You bastard. He scammed me. He bloody scammed me. What a jerk. Okay, we've got moment available over here. Let's go with more extortion rates. Get some more cash. We're actually making... Look at this. Almost three and a half K in the bank every turn. Holy balls. Look at that. That's... Oh, that's, that's exciting. That is exciting. That's really good. Let's get some more cash. I've, I've, I want... You know, I want all the money. I want... I want every... Every settlement... To have a Scrooge McDuck-esque money bin that Grom can swim around in. Just filled with teeth. Swimming around in other people's teeth. That sounds horrific, doesn't it? That sounds literally like the stuff of nightmares. Hello? Hello? I don't think that's accurate. Malice thinks it's going to be a walk in the park. Which is maybe technically true. But he's going to get spiders. That's, I was going to say ants, but they're not ants. It's, it's, anyway, the point is we've got lots of spiders. Good. So they're going to pop some spells, but it's not really going to do much damage. And uh, then we just like start shooting them with our... Yeah, that's right. Lots of missile fire. Now, dealing with Malice is going to be a bit tricky because he, he's quite beast, beastly, is old Malice. Um, so we, we've, we do have our Goblin Big Boss. Goblin, and we've got two Arachnorok Spiders as well. So that's how we're going to deal with him. Otherwise, we're just going to, you know, shoot shoot the Doomfire Warlocks and then we're going to charge them and kill a lot of them. That's that's the plan. I mean, it's not a particularly good plan, but that's, that's what we've got. Okay, in comes the Goblin Big Boss. To Zark. To Zark. Zark. 
And he goes, come on, Zark, you got this, buddy. You got this. You do not got this. You do not have this. Get the... F Jesus Christ. Did you just get h half your hit? G okay, get out of there. Run. Run for your life. Let the... Let, let the Aranrock Spiders deal with this, because, Jesus, you are severely outmatched. Je good Christ. Okay, the Doomfire Warlocks were chasing us in, until we decided to turn back and charge them, and then we ate them. And uh, same over here, basically. We decided to charge them. It turns out the Doomfire Warlocks not very effective against a horde of spiders. So, uh, there we go. The the Feral Manticore actually is uh, looking looking for old, for old Sly. Oof. That's, that's not very good, is it? But we've still got lots of spiders in held in reserve. There's there's quite a few units of these Harganeth Executioners. Now, the problem with Harganeth Executioners, they don't have shields. That's problem number one for them. And second problem is that... Uh, is they're quite slow. So technically, we could just kite them all over the map, but that seems really you know, like it would take a, a while. So instead, what we're going to do is just charge them. Just, just charge them. It's fine. doesn't matter. Just kill a lot of them. Charge them from every direction. It'll be fine. Here we go. Yep, there we go. Lots of lots of flying Dark Elves. They're now scattered all over the place, getting their ass kicked. Look how much damage they're taking so quickly. That's going to sting. And then we're just going to overrun all of their units one by one. No problem. Um, Malice has taken a bit of a beating. Has taken a bit of a beating as the Ratnock Spiders kick the shower. They're now beating up the Manticore for us. That's it. Run for your life, you little bugger. Okay, and then in we go. We're going to charge in, attack Malice. Malice taking quite a lot of damage there. I think he's already he's already done his Ted move, hasn't he? So he's now Ted. Yeah, he's now Ted. And uh, so he's healed up. He can't use that again. He's losing health as well. So his health is, is dropping quite rapidly. So unless he can win this fight, which I'm going to be honest, doesn't look likely. He's, he's, gone, he's, he's gone for. And uh, here come the terrible twins. Just when you thought it was safe to, to kill spiders... S suddenly mummy and daddy spider turned up and they're not too happy about seeing all their dead children littering the ground Ted, they're not very happy about that which is unfortunate for you where are you Ted? oh there you are or rather there you were Yeah, you can roar all you like. You've got... How much health left? Not much. And it's going down. And the rest of Malice's army is very dead at the moment. Oh, <laughs> in comes his arc. Like, he's... <laughs> the fact he's like, oh, he's almost dead. I'll come in and kick him in the nuts while he's down. Perfect. Revenge. Oh, well, that did it. And uh, the last little dregs of the Dark Elves now running away. And uh, the coast is clear. Oh dear, Malice, that didn't work out very well for you, did it? Oh, you're running away, and, uh, yep, Sly Sweaty Bollocks now does more armor piercing damage, which I'm going to be honest, probably isn't that useful for him, but, um, still, he, he, he defeated Malice. Grom can hardly see you past Grom's Don't declare war on me. Why are you declaring war, oh, you bastard, Mash? All right, well, you're now at war with everyone. Oh, shit. That's not good. Now I've got an army wandering around behind my lines. Okay, we need to deal with Malice. Then we need to go and deal with Mash. Ugh, I should have killed him. I should have killed him when I had the chance. Maybe I send Sly back to finish him off. Maybe that's... Maybe that's the... The plan. Hmm. Okay, that's not good. Plus we're probably going to get Rebellion at... Uh, at Nagazishar now. Because, yeah, they're not happy. Okay, well, fine. No problem. Grom? If you get up there, then we can send Sly in to engage, and then we can just auto resolve that. And, geez, uh, Tazark didn't even die. I mean, it's close, but he didn't die. There will be consequences. Ah, well, there, though. I don't think that will somehow. I suspect there probably won't be consequences. You had 65 health left. You are you are a very lucky goblin. I mean, I, I say lucky when I sent you to fight, you know, Malice. That's not that lucky, but... <gasps> yes! Yes, Sly now has an Arachnorok spider. That's exciting. Uh, provides decreased winds of magic costs for spells and cooldown reductions. Very nice. 
Can we see what bonus that is? Who knows? Doesn't matter. Right, okay, we've got we got a we've got a giant spider to ride around on now. That is peak Sly. Okay, what we might do is we might send Grom to finish this up. We'll send Sly back north to uh, deal with Mash. That's quite annoying. I don't really have a way of dealing with him, unfortunately. There's I mean I could recruit another army. If I did recruit another army, let's say. Okay, so that would cost me. 4,373 just for another army. It's not great, is it? Might see if we can 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 do it without. Let's give you replenish troops. And right, Scarsnick. You are gonna come down here. ASAP. Let's check public order. Seems to be fine. Let's upgrade that. More defences there, just in case. As... Didn't I... Didn't I... What? Didn't I just kill you, Volkmar? I don't run away. Come back here when I'm talking to you. Right, you're dead again. Right, fuck off. I'm going to take the money. Thanks very much. I can't just, just come back to life whenever you feel like it. That's not how this works. You bastard. Honestly, honest, uh, just, oh, some people, some people, the bloody nerve. The bloody nerve. Honest to God, I don't know. Sometimes you just, you just wonder why you bother. Okay, uh, we've taken Flensburg just for funsies. So me and the Skaven sort of like carving up the um, the empire between us, which is quite nice. Uh, ideally, I'd like Scarset to come and help with that, but unfortunately, I think he's probably going to be busy trying to deal with the Wood Elves. Although the Wood Elves haven't poked their nose out since since that last that uh, that last advance, so maybe we're all right. Gouger, come down here and just have a look. What we got? Uh, I mean, that's I mean, it's, it's awful, but it's not. The worst Wood Elf army I've ever seen in my life. I will not obey. I mean, might be okay. I mean, ideally I'd burn this place to the ground because I really don't want to, to take it myself. Maybe I can get one of my allies to take it for me. Okay. Let's so keep an eye on what's going on over here in Italopime and Hair Gig. Nothing so far. Where's where's is Chaos still wandering around? The Chaos Warriors still around? I haven't seen them. Hmm. Maybe not. There's a war herd of Chaos still around. I wonder if it's like a case that they, if they if they're still alive, Grimgore can't respawn. Not Grimgore. Archaon, or the Chaos Forces. I was looking at Grimgore when I said that, and it made me want—it made me say the, say the name. Uh, right, okay, so Grimgore's over there, so we just need to keep that in mind, because we want to, to finish him off. Is he at war with uh, Gorgazan? He isn't. You dare approach a lord. I wonder if we can get him to beat up Gorgazan as well. We're not at war with Gorgazan, but maybe we can get him to, to join in. Would you mind declaring war on... You know what? Don't declare war on anyone else at the moment because you've got plenty of stuff to be getting on with. You know, I don't want to load you down with people to kill. Let's let's put it that way. Uh, troll Eater. Let's come and have a look over here. Okay, we haven't seen any more armies. I've not... They, they might be recruiting around here. I'm going to get Azhag to sort of like um, deal with all this stuff and then go up to Altdorf. Maybe I should take Altdorf first. Maybe. 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 Probably should, actually. That's probably sensible, isn't it? I should do that. I should definitely do that. What's the Avresi doing? Have they got the Sword of Cain? But yeah, he does as well. It's like he's fending off Malekith. I, I honestly taught, thought Tori Avresi would be... Uh, would be dead by now. But they're, they're holding on, which is which is good. It's exciting. It's going to be a... What I would like to do is is finish the campaign with the last settlements on Ulth 1. And that's going to be quite a... That's going to be quite a... Um, 
a feat to pull off. But I think we can do it. If we hit Ulthwan with with the crew at the same time, then it can be done. Oh, Grim Fandango's back. That's good to see. And Orglock the Horrible is apparently a builder. Good for him. And we could get a giant blade if we kill Malrunner the Spite Heart. Well, I could do that. Okay, Grom, you're coming down here. Do we want to march you? I think we probably do. Because the sooner you get down here and finish him off, the better. Okay, and then we need to head north as quickly as possible. So let's hop in there, get some replenishment, and sly. A lot of these guys are not ranking up super quick. So I don't think there's any point getting sneaky stabbers just yet. So what we could do is get um, Gorkle fix it, because... We could use that as like any enemy cavalry just charging our spiders. We could use that on them and then counter charge them. So that sounds like it could work quite nicely. Uh, Marco P.O. White, you're going to come over here and there's still absolutely nothing. Um, let's go to, uh, should we go and take Nullen first or what should we do here? So we know there's an army over here. Gelt's back. Okay, but but like far in the north, so he's not a major issue for us right now. So let's sort of move our armies over here, get a good look at what's going on. Okay, let's go and hit um, Nullum then. You need to heal up. You know what? Just just come over here, get a raiding camp on, steal some of their cash. Do they actually have defenses here? They do. So we might need to soften them up. But that is doable. I mean, we can probably take it anyway. It's just softening up, be you know, useful, be be a good choice. I don't have walls. I could assassinate one of these guys. Just to make life a little bit easier for me, should I decide to go and kill? I'm, I'm you know what? I'm going to bring Scarsnick down here. We're going to take Helmgar. And then I might head into... Because the, the Wood Elves aren't, aren't coming out of the forest. That one army was an aberration. And I don't know what they were up to. But it looks like they decided to stay back home. You know what I should do is actually um, make a new meal. So, we've got this one here, which is uh, a red and a green and also some Eagle Talons. So eagle Talons are the uh, anti-infantry ammo. For, I mean, it's, it's got to be better than the explosive shit, hasn't it? So, right, we'll pop one of you there. Uh, we'll get that. We'll do that. So that should give us the Elven Foie Gras. Sounds quite good. And let's get immense power. Meh. Lava spiders. Don't really need them, do we? Dulled senses for trolls. Okay, that could be quite nice. Monstrous disease or ghostly protection. Um, let's get the monstrous disease. Sounds quite fun. Let's do that. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Um, oh, it does mean we're losing the obedience now, which means that Nagazishal's probably super pissed off. Yeah, we're going to have a rebellion there, but... Ah, well. Sod's law. Not the end of the world. Are, are we, are we going to have public order problems anywhere? Let's have a quick look. Okay, so Leon SC isn't very happy, but that's because of chaos corruption. There's not much I can do about that, really. Uh, I could get... A, I could do something like that. Uh, let's knock that down. I don't think we need that. Avaland, uh, you've just been conquered, so that's that's the reason why you're a little bit testy. In fact, we could knock down that and get some public order there. That'll fix that one. The Kingdom of Beasts, yeah, you're unhappy because you've just been conquered, so that's fine. And Sterland, again, you were conquered not too long ago, so this should be... The Prince of Disability should be dropping away. It's a little bit of corruption from the Skaven there, but nothing that we can't deal with, so that's all fine. Uh, broken teeth, yeah, well, that's to be expected. Oh, Western Sylvania is not very happy. Oh. Okay, but it's not too bad. That's not good, though. Uh, 
Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, you blug pig kisser. You're up. You're going to go at... Oh. These are Skaven ruins now. Okay, I've changed my mind. You're fired. Okay, so they're Skaven ruins. So unless we go to war with the Skaven, which... I don't really want to do. To be honest, I let the Skaven problem get out of control. Partly so it would help with the Empire. This is very much the case of, of the old lady who swallowed a fly. Um, and, and now I've got a rat problem. Shit. Oh well. We'll worry about that in a bit. Uh, let's let's block Balthazar. Or not. Let's bo block Balthazar. Yeah, that was that was unlikely, wasn't it? Never mind. Uh, you can learn to block armies better. Okay. And you're going to come over here because I want to know where Balthazar is. Because that's quite a scary army, to be honest. I mean, not for Azhag, obviously. Azhag can easily just jump up and down on that. That's going to be fine, no problem. But I do need to know where it is so I can jump up and down on it. Okay, we've been wounded. No problem. Salt garrison. What have chaos of dead? Okay, so yeah, there's another another wave of chaos now coming in. So because the the doom herd weren't dead, it's uh, it wasn't respawning. So that's why that was happening. Good to know. Okay, so we've got a, the we've dealt a nasty blow to the garrison, and we've knocked down some of the walls. So this, sh okay, that should be fairly straightforward. So worry about that in a second. Let's worry about that one in a second. And right, Skarsnik, you can come and take Helmgart. And that's going to be fairly straightforward. Oof. No, the Apic Loonies. You know what, had I lost the Warlord's boys, I wouldn't have been so upset, but... Never mind. Never mind, not the end of the world. We'll just get more like goblins for fanatics. Sorted. Okay, so we're taking that. Very nice. Right, where's Grom? Yes, I know who you are. Uh, I guess we'll just all resolve that one. Nice and easy. And we'll occupy. No. And the Serpent Coast is the last thing they have left. Now, that means they might decide to flee when they realise I'm on my way. Um, but hopefully, we should just be able to bop them nice and quickly and uh, that'll be all good. Yes, let's knock down you. We'll get some public order buildings in here and all that kind of good stuff. Lovely. We're actually, look at this, 7.5k now. Holy balls, we're making so much money. This is all good. Uh, right, you're happy down there. That's all fine. Slides moving up. That's all good. Okay. Let's go and sack Nullen for some shits and giggles. This is, of course, where uh, Grom sacked Nullen and then just sat around doing doing nothing for ages up until Gork and Mork uh, spoke through Blacktooth and told him to get his, his bloody move, you know, shake a bloody leg. And he did and went all the way to Ulthwan and then died. Oh, well. So let's, let's burn Nolan to the ground. Well, we'll sack it and then conquer it, to be honest. But, you know, same thing. But that's going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.